Hi everyone, welcome to Sean Allen Films, the educational series. I'm Sean Allen. This is episode two of Watch Your Grammar. In today's episode, we're going to be looking at nouns. If you haven't seen the last episode, I suggest you go and watch it right now before I continue on with today's video. In order to watch the last episode, click either the annotation above or click the link down below entitled Last Episode. So if you're ready, then let's get started. So what is a noun? Well, a noun is a person, place, or thing. A person could be like a man, woman, or child. A place could be like a house, school, or grocery store. And a thing could be anything from like a paperclip, car, or even a laptop. Here's a question for you. Is an idea a noun? Believe it or not, but the answer is yes. An idea would be considered a noun. Some examples would include courage, beauty, or kindness. Now that we know what nouns are, let's talk about specific nouns. Let's take a look at common nouns. What are common nouns? We are basically naming general nouns, but not giving them specific names. Take this man, for example. Man is a common noun. Now let's say that this man's name is Harry. Harry is a proper noun. Here's another example. This cat. That's a common noun. The cat's name is Simon. So now we are naming a proper noun. Let's take the noun a step further. Let's look at abstract and concrete nouns. No, not concrete like what we see on the streets. We'll be talking about concrete nouns in a few minutes. Abstract nouns help name a type of quality, state, idea, or activity of a noun. A few good examples of abstract nouns would be strength, determination, and regret. Let's take a look at concrete nouns. A concrete noun is something that is physical or real and can be seen or touched. Remember my example about strength? Can you see strength or smell it or taste it? No. A good example of concrete noun would be dirt. You can see dirt, smell dirt, feel dirt, and taste dirt. But don't taste it for real. Told you. Okay, so far we have looked at common, proper, abstract, and concrete nouns. Now let's look at compound nouns. What are compound nouns? Well, the name should give you a clue. Look at the word compound. That means more than one. So compound nouns are nouns that use two words to form one noun. There are three types of compound nouns. The first one we'll look at is the one word compound noun. An example would be monorail. This noun is naming a type of train that runs on one rail. Instead of saying the one rail train, we could say monorail. In case you are wondering, mono means one. There are also two-word compound nouns. An example would be a book bag. Those are two nouns, book and bag. Instead of saying bag for books, we could easily say book bag. This is a compound noun. Compound nouns with hyphens are the third type. A very good example of this would be out of bounds. We would normally say this if a baseball, football, soccer ball, or basketball goes beyond a certain point. The word out of bounds is considered a compound noun. Let's now look at collective nouns. Now don't let the name fool you. Yes, it does have the word collective in it, but what does it have to do with nouns in general? Very simply, a collective noun is a noun that is singular, but means a whole bunch of things at the same time. Here's an example. Take a look at this sentence. The boy has one cow. So far, I don't see any uses for a collective noun, so it's correct so far. Okay, now let's add some more cows. Our sentence could say the boy has a cow, another cow, another cow, another cow, another cow, another cow. Hold on a second. Do I really need to add all of those unnecessary nouns? No. What I could say is 
The boy has a lot of cattle. Aha! Now that is more like it. Cattle is naming more than one cow. Thus, the word cattle is a collective noun. Whew! You see that? <laughs> That's sweat. Let me tell you something. We learned a lot about nouns today. So, if you ever want to review some of the information that we talked about nouns, well, simply rewatch the video. Or, you can stick around and watch a quick review. A noun is a person, place, thing, or idea. There are six different types of nouns. Common, proper, abstract, concrete, compound, and collective nouns. Common nouns name ordinary items like man, woman, plane, or boat. Proper nouns identify a specific person, place, thing, or idea. Abstract nouns name the state, quality, or general idea of a noun, while concrete nouns are physical and can be seen, or tasted, or smelled. Compound nouns are interesting because we can combine two or more words together to form one huge noun. Collective nouns are also interesting because we can be looking at a certain organization, but that little group can only have one name to describe it. And with that, we finished episode two of Watch Your Grammar. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you learned something. In our next episode, we are going to be looking at pronouns. Before you go, please be sure to like this video, favorite it, and leave a comment down below telling us what you thought about today's show. Be sure to also check out Shion Films the vlog series and Shion Films the Disneyland video series. The links are down below in the description of this video. And don't forget to check out the official Google Plus, Twitter, and Facebook pages dedicated to this series. And please be sure to subscribe for more educational videos. Well, that's all for today. Until next time, keep on learning. I've got a guess. Look, I think it's Minnie. Hi, Minnie. Hi, Minnie. How you doing? Minnie's a little, a little girl. Hi, Minnie. <laughs>